So as a captain, you have certain knowledge you've acquired from others, and you're given a, a map, a very special map. And on this map, you know how the winds are going to move your ship depending upon where you are. And so that's how you navigate by dead reckoning. For example, let's say you're hired to go start in Africa, and you're hired to go out into the ocean towards the west. So here I am, my starting point. Now I know from my prior knowledge that my ship is going to move with normal winds six blocks to the west. So in a month, I know that I'm going to move this far over. But at this time of the year, I have a different wind blowing. And that wind's going to blow me down as well. So it's going to give me a little more distance in a different direction. So when I'm moving by dead reckoning, I know I'm going six blocks always because of the wind. And because this normal abnormal wind at this time of the year, I'm going to move downwards. So I'm going to add these two together. So on my map, I might actually show that I'm going to draw a line like this. So here's my net displacement from where I started to where I'm going. So I'm not really doing anything too scientific, except I'm using my knowledge of how I'm going to travel. For the next month, I know that I'm going to move six blocks to the west with the winds that I have normally. But at this time of year, the winds have shifted a little bit, and so they're going to move me upwards and over a touch. So during this time, I know my boat is going to be moved over to the new spot in a month. So that's how you navigate by dead reckoning. I don't have a compass out. I'm not looking at the stars. I just have this prior knowledge to how the winds are going to move me about and how far I can travel in a month on my map by looking at the squares.